Hey everybody, welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're here in Nashville at Jan's house. This is presented by our friends at Show X, which gives musicians control over their own ticketing. And we're live right now with Rick McGuire from Pile. Rick, it's great to see you again, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're about to hear a representative sample of your music from across the catalog. What's uh, What do you feel like doing first today? Uh, the first song I'm gonna do is called Leaning on a Wheel. And uh, it's off of our 2017 record called A Hair Shirt of Purpose. All right.
Thank you. Yeah, man, this, uh, it sounds wonderful and and uh, looks wonderful too, man. That's I like the way that those pedals look quite a bit. Um, we've been cutting to the wide a lot so we can see the fancy footwork happening. Um, <laughs> what is that pedal and what kind of control does it give you over your uh, your instruments? Um, it's just a it's just a MIDI controller. It's uh, you know it's set up like a like a keyboard. Um, but yeah, so I just got this thing or this thing controlling this thing and then sending it out through there. And it's just nice, um, you know, a, a lot of these songs are sort of, they're written with the band and then to take them back and be like, it's nice to have, try to utilize a bunch of different things to give it that, some semblance of that fullness. So uh, yeah, it's just like a fun tool and I felt like it ended up kind of opening things up for the solo sets that I, I do, so. Cool. So as you guys get into, um I'm not sure how much of this is announceable and how much of it is still under wraps, but in terms of when, when new music comes out, when you guys go to record or if it is already recorded, does that pedal board make its way into it or is it, is it a, a full band experience in the studio? Well, I guess we, we got a couple of things coming up. There is one thing that's tracked and it's filmed and it's uh, sort of because of the pandemic, we weren't really able to get together to, to write or rehearse. So... Um, you know, I do sets like these from time to time, and uh, I figured it'd be cool to have some sort of recorded representation of that. So, felt like a good opportunity to take some songs, and also like the, the, uh, you know, the project has existed for like, uh, I get, I guess like 14 years now. So there's like a bunch of material. So it was cool to just revisit a bunch of old stuff and try that out in different ways. And so yeah, I recorded with this. Uh, like a, a, a solo record and uh, yeah, it's called Songs Known Together Alone and it's coming out in August so it hasn't really been announced but I guess now it has you just have uh, yes thank you for the exclusive for yeah. the scoop <laughs> yeah so it's and it's it's filmed and everything too it's filmed at the uh, where we recorded Green and Gray our last LP and it's just a big barn and I uh, had some friends come up and they sort of set the whole place up and made it look really nice and you know, it's two LPs. The first one is this sort of set up and then the second one is on piano. So, um, yeah, I'm, it, it, it felt weird to sort of revisit some of that stuff, but also it felt, it, it also felt good and it felt like it was a, a good opportunity to try that. So, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Potentially re reprocess stuff that never got worked through just because life was happening and maybe a little bit less life has, has happened over the last year and a half or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well these are even songs that are on record, so it's like they're not it's not new material, they just I just was able to sort of now knowing the songs intimately, I can sort of sort of turn them inside out a little bit more. You know, whereas with new songs it's like, alright, I gotta figure out what the thing is and now it's like, well I know what the thing is, what else can it be? So so that was uh, yeah, it was fun. Cool, cool, man. Well, we'll stay tuned for when uh, when the really when it comes out and when it potentially goes on the road as well. I hope to see you guys up in up in New York when if and when that happens. Oh, for sure. Yeah, but dude, this is great out here on the porch today, and uh, we're just barely into it. There's a lot more of your music to be shared. What's happening second today? 
Um, the next one I'm going to play is named Firewood, and that is on uh, our last LP, which came out in 2019. It's called Green and Gray. And yeah, this, so this is the, the first, first song off that record. Shopping is much easier now I can be quiet, private, and protected In a compartment tucked away real tight
Thank you. Thanks, man. So I know you've been, um, you've had sort of, uh, I mean, maybe nomadic's not the right word, but it's a transient uh, life between Nashville and Boston for the last couple of years. Can you talk a little bit about what, uh, what each place gives you, whether musically or personally, but uh, just the, the, the advantages of, of being in each place? Sure, yeah. Um, I mean, Boston's really nice because that's, you know, around the area that I grew up. So there's a lot, it's just it's familiar, both in terms of, um, people, temperament, uh, places. Um, so that's, that's really nice. And yeah, I like it up there and down here is great too. It's a little bit easier. It's a little less cramped. Um, uh, bandmate Chappie runs a space called dark matter down here, which, um, it's an all ages DIY music venue. And it is, it's like a sustainable thing down here that they have a place where bands can just come and um, it's much more difficult for that to exist in in Boston and, you know it's not uh, not because people don't try it's just a lot of different it's just a cramped city and there's a lot of transients there too because of all the colleges so um, but yeah I feel like I get different things from from each place do you feel like you're making a potentially a more permanent move to, to down here to Nashville, or is it going to get even more transient as the world opens up and you get back out on the road? I'd say probably more the latter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's sort of difficult to tell where where things will where things will go. So. Cool. Well, thank you for sharing this thing with us here today. And there still is uh, still more music to be shared. What's happening last today? Um, last is a song from. Our 2015 LP uh, entitled You're Better Than This, and the name of that song is Touched by Comfort. Let's see here.
place on a map But most things have turned over Rick, thanks, thanks for coming and doing this, man. We'll uh, we'll stay tuned for for August when the the re reimagined music gets released out into the wild, and uh, and when the band is on the road too. Hopefully, we'll see you in New York or another another deck at another forest somewhere. We'll see what happens. Sure, yeah. Thanks for having me. All right, man. See you next time. Take care. All right.